Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Munch, and today we will be doing the gaming review of the Carbon A12 Plus. First of all, we will begin with the basic games and then we will move on to the higher end games. Let's begin with Subway Surfers. Just focus on the gameplay. You will see that there are no dropped frames and the gameplay is quite smooth. And we are really impressed with the clarity of the display as well as the touch response. The display looks vibrant. Although the colors are not spot on, they seem a bit oversaturated at times. Next up is Dead Trigger. This is slightly a more intensive game than Subway Surfers. Here too you can see that there is no lag. Just focus on the gameplay for a moment. Now we'll play Raging Thunder. It's a very basic racing game and uses the accelerometer of the device. So we'll get to test that as well. The accelerometer is quite sensitive. It responds almost instantaneously. Now we'll play a game of cut the rope. Again it's a basic game. Although the animations might take a toll on the graphics processor. Here too you can see that there is no issue with frame rate and the gameplay is quite smooth. Next up is Temple Run 2. Let's begin. Temple Run is yet another fast paced game. You can see here that there is no ghosting or freezing and there are no frame rate issues either. Just focus on the gameplay and see if there are any dropped frames. Now we'll be moving on to Frontline Commando. It's another action game. It's a third person shooter. Now 
in this game too. There are no drop frames and there is no lag while playing it. Just focus on the gameplay. We didn't have any issues with audio sync in games as well. The loudspeaker, as we have said earlier, is quite loud and clear. So that's another frontline commando. Let's start with GTA Vice City. So we'll do some free roaming and some driving. Here you can see that there is no lag while we are panning across and moving. Touch response too is good on the game. The display looks quite bright and sharp. Now let's jump into a car. You can see that the frame rate increased, but there is no lag and there are no drop frames. The Carbon A12 Plus is proving to be a very good device for gaming. Next up, we are going to play Modern Combat 4. It has some of the highest graphics requirements. You can see that the beautiful environment that has been created all the elements are being shown, including shadows as well as overbright of the sun. You can see the smoke as well. There are no frame rate issues or lag while playing this game, which is evident from the gameplay. Let's have a look at the gameplay some more. You can see here that the game did not lag even a single bit throughout the one minute that we have been already playing this game. There are no drop frames or frame rate issues either. Now, let's move on to Rail Racing 3. This again is a really graphically intensive game, especially due to the environment it creates. You can see the different textures that line the grass, the asphalt and the cars. You can see the dust particles floating in the air as well.
you can see the shadow as well as your right of the sun and we really can't believe that we are playing such a high-end game or a device that's available for less than rupees 5000 on the market right now this is superb graphic performance from the carbon a12 plus Let's move on to something sportier and we'll play FIFA 14. FIFA 14 features some new touch controls as well as user interactions. All in all, it makes the game very easy to play. You can see how easy it was to score a goal. That's your replay right there. Just focus on the gameplay to see if there are any drop frames or any frame rate issues. I think FIFA Wooden is the only game where you can score a goal from the half line. Next up is Nova 3. Nova 3 is notoriously known to take a long time to load on various smartphones but it loaded quite quickly on the Carbon A12 Plus as it did on the Micromax Canvas Fun A74 as well. It seems that the Mali 400MP GPU is quite adept at playing this game. Have a look at the gameplay. You can see here that there is no lag, no frame rate issues, and the gameplay is quite smooth. All in all, it's a very enjoyable gaming experience on the Carbon A12 Plus. And we have got to say, we didn't expect such performance from a device which is available right now for less than Rs. 5000. Last but not least, we'll play Asphalt A Airborne.
As for day 2, use the accelerometer of the device. This new game adds several new stunts. You can see here that the graphics have been greatly improved from Asphalt 7 and so has the requirements for gaming. It's a very graphically intensive game. And you can see how easily the Carbon A12 Plus handles this game. Well that's the gaming review of the Carbon A12 Plus. We were delightedly surprised by the gaming performance, especially considering its price. We will be back with the full review and camera samples. Don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you and have a great day.